management of domestic workers in one hand and on the other hand to deal with the matter of the rights of also employers from the domestic workers. So it's, it's a two-way bill that seeks to address the regulation and the operation of the informal sector of the economy. Now, let me, let me just uh, go back to history. In 1998, it was widely reported there was a senior flight officer of Nigeria Airways, Hadizo Obo. She was almost becoming a captain at the age of 39. Highly cerebral. She was killed and murdered by her employees, her domestic workers. It was reported. Up till today, the culprits have not been found because record has it that they are workers from is it Togo or Benin Republic that she employed and they connived and killed her. There are unreported cases of a lot of atrocities committed by our domestic workers. Mm -hmm. Secondly, on the part of the employers as well, there are reported and unreported cases of employers maltreating, sexually harassing, and even sometimes killing domestic workers in their employ. So therefore, the intent of the bill is to bring the two sides of the coin together so that we can have a harmonized, regulated, documented, and properly articulated approach to domestic employee-employer relationship. That's the intent of the bill. Uh, having spoken and having presented the lead debate, it is also known that most of the people we employ, we hardly even ever know them. The Megad you see on the street and say, bring me Megad. You don't know his history. You don't know his psychology. You don't know his background. You don't have any record of him. So in case of any problem, you find that you won't be able to trace him. Cases of kidnapping, burglary, and house theft are mostly treated, I mean, uh, uh, as a result of internal collusion between your domestic staff and maybe outsiders. So the intent of this bill is to set up an agency or a department or director, a directorate. But for me, my intention is to have a commission. Now, if you look at Philippines, more than 40% of their GDP is strictly coming from those informal sectors. If you go to any, uh, most, you go to Europe, any country in the world, you find that the larger number of nurses, uh, uh, house helps, are from Philippines because it is properly regulated. You have registered employment agencies that will re uh, recruit, train, and document prospective employees. So as a, as, a, as a prospective employer, you approach the employment agency, they give you, uh, they recommend, you give, the, you give them your specifications. They now recommend for you an employee. With that, you have a seamless relationship. And at the same time, even the catch there is that government will even be making money from this because stipends will be paid by the employment agencies to the government for proper monitoring and evaluation. So this is the background and this is the reason behind the bill. And you all know, all of us here, I'm, I'm sure, we have in one way or the other this kind of relationship. We have uh, domestic workers, we have house helps, we have drivers, we have cooks. They are all part of our family. But I bet you, if I ask you here, how many of you can actually account for the history and background of the people they employ in their houses, I'm sure the answer will be practically no. You just find uh, somebody, ah, there is this house girl in uh, uh, Nasarawa, let me bring her to you, and then you employ her, without knowing her background and her history. And oftentimes, in fact, the number of all reported cases in our country is far, far in excess of the reported cases. So the whole idea is to bring about sanity and to organize that informal sector so that we can have a seamless employer-employee-domestic-worker relationship. So that the right of every uh, partner is protected. The right of the domestic worker to sanitary and clean living condition, good living wage, and at the same time, medical care and all other benefits that should accrue should be made available to him. And at the same time, as an employer label, you are safe in knowing that, yes, this is somebody I know and there is a guarantor who has recommended him and there is an employment agency that actually recruited and uh, handed him over to me. So these are the intent generally of the, of the bill. Two, three months back, it was reported in the dailies 
there was a lawyer, I think in Enugu or Anambrasi, that was declared wanted by NAPTIP. Yes. Right, by the yes. Minister of Women Affairs, yes. actually. Yes. Anambra, thank you. She was declared wanted mm. because she uh, abused her domestic staff, even it was reported, it was all yes, over the papers. Yes. Now, it will interest you to know that the, 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 the wish and the opportunity for this kind of relationship is very, very important and it's common everywhere. Go to any home, tell him that you want to register his megad. Nobody will object to that because you are securing your own family and livelihood. Most of the abuses, you, have, you see it on the TV all the time, domestic workers abusing little, little children, children under their care. One that was reported globally was about one woman who was even stepping on a toddler right. that was kept under her care. It was all reported. So the point in this is that there is thirst, there is hunger for this kind of regulation, for this kind of control in the society. And it's a matter of enlightenment. Nobody will run away from being secured and his family being secured. Mainly because if you look at the kind of life we live today, our women are almost practically living outside our homes. They go back home 6, 7 p.m. By the time they go home, they are tired, they are exhausted. They rely mostly on the domestic workers. So tell me any household owner who will reject or uh, refuse to have a regulated setup that will secure his home and his family. There will be none. So really it is about us, about enlightenment. It's about self-enlightenment actually, not even enlightenment. Once we agree that we want to sanitize the sector, and for the good of the country, for the good of our people, definitely you will see that there will be a lot of buy-in. Thank you, sir. I think uh, distinguished has done justice.